Hey guys, this is Lucas, and we are back with Doki Doki. This poem is called. It's called. Why are you all looking at me? Why? Because you're because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Nasuki Nasuki takes a breath. Once he starts reciting the poem, his sour attitude disappears a little. When she's still a little un enthused, the poem has a rhythm and has a rhyme to it. It's Nasuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Nasuki finishes and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to, easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Oh well, do you want to feel less prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on what, uh, whatever face for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be an... The other way around from me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming, though. Drew. It might be hard, but I hope you have all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick up a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making practice, so let me know ahead of time when you recite them. Jeez. Jeez, I should probably find some other point to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I guess that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, so let's try to have poems for everyone for, for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend for, to rep prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sari and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and uh, and impressing Monica, then I have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayuri? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys, don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Sakura, you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go anyway. I walk home with Sayuri once more. Even though it's been a few days, a lot of things have, ha have already changed, but Sayuri is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey Sayuri, that's... Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something earlier. Like how we get to, I mean... Sayuri fumbles with her words. So let's say one day Sayuri, Yuri asked to walk you home, huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> I would kind of still invite Sayori to join in, to be honest, but... Walking home with Sayori? With Yuri, huh? Why does that not make me... make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That wasn't. That has nothing to do with what I just said. Ahaha, <laughs> you admitted it! Jeez, there's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore. 
you know, me too. Sayuri, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation chills off and I felt, and I left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me in such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if, it's some, if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I say there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Freaking hell, Natsuki. No. Freaking hell, Sayori. You can do this. Fucking hell. Contamination. Adventure. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. It switches with 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 Sayori and Yui here. Fucking hell. I'm going to have to cut out that freaking spoiler. Oh man, I'm the last you. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ahaha. Ha. Must have a lot of determination. Starting this club now is and now picking up piano. Maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Be Remember that club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you? And I'm super happy that you're willing to help out with the festival too. I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Uh, weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. But I'm not talking about part of the festival. It's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. It sound a bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica, do, you, do they usually have fried squid? Squid. That's a pretty perfect thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying that you don't like squid? You of all people? I, I said I uh, didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Ma Nika. Eh. That's not how you say it. My name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now on, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna stop re doing real giggles at this. <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where's Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at her desk at the corner room looking down at I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I raise my head in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. Eh, <laughs> sorry, don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez. You worry too much about me. It's fine, see? 
I'm fine, see? Sorry, it's supposed to be a big smell. Yes, what do you want? Okay. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. You say so. I'm worriedly, I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has really dispersed with everyone back to their usual activities, so maybe I shall. Ask Monica if she's noticing anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they might be, they must be spending a lot of time together. And timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through to some papers at her desk. Sakura, like, oh, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Well, I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Sorry peers across the room as Sayori, who is idly dra dragging a razor up and down her, her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Sakura. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked, she was just really demissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. I also care about her well-being as, as of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her. Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm just saying that maybe thing of a mind is you, Sakura. Me. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say it's too much. But Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. <laughs> She's been so much happier ever since you've joined this club. It's like extra light was turned on inside her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not very different now than it has always has been. <laughs> you're so funny, Sakura. Have you thought that maybe you're always seen her as so tearful because that is how she is when she's around you? Thoughts. I, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I mean, to jump to conclusions so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. <sighs> Alright. Sorry, smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get the words out of my head. Monica stands up from from her desk and walks across the room to Sayori's so so and walks her new down next to, next to Sayori and talk, gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet, I can't hear from her. I try and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her. And have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her and that and that I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Now it's like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. I used to feel like I'm being watched. I go into the room. Suddenly I notice you peering from over her book. But she looks away as quickly as with a frosted look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own, back, on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now it's easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk. Thoughts. 
I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. I could... I could tell that you want to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? <coughs> How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well... It's something that I do a lot. It wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not like I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern, I can't freaking breathe and my eyes are all here. I can do this for another 15 minutes, come on! Don't apologize. The troubles are only the record of those pulling they share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to say what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not a big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayuri. Sayuri? Yes, he seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. <clears throat> so I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. It's kind of romantic. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want to miss you to misunderstand. So you and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Uh, I see. And perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm reading into it a little too much. Sakura. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm? I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too. And I feel some some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I, I guess. <coughs> but you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. That. Yui suddenly looks deeply into her eye, into her eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes a person mystery mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you as someone honestly caring may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm pretty much I'm a pretty simple guy, so I don't think pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. <sighs> That's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it, yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. 
thoughts. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica Monica calls out to the club room. Okay, why don't we say our poems now? For I know everything affects and all. Everyone goes to retreat their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayuri. That's... Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well... You don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you worked it for someone else in you. Probably Yuri. Eh? I can write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy to write. In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Sakura. Sayuri? Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. You insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a bit early today. Sayuri? But <coughs> Veronica wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything, Sari walks out of the classroom to us. She didn't even let me read her poem. Oh no, what the hell have I done? Only did it so I could get a new year's route more easily. Yeah, no thanks. You didn't even next. Why? Should I put so my poem to next? That Sakura, your writing has improved in this last few days. Every poem you've shown me has no nothing has been nothing else short of spectacular. I can feel the emotions. I feel a little envious even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This will come naturally to me. This never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve them so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri smiles gently to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought I would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe you're so good at something and you never even said it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I had, I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, he really smiles sadly. Sorry, Sakura, during the lunch time, during lunch time I eat by myself, did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading, in fact. I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one of the ways to put it, anyway, but books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. And people you want to fall in love with, or people you just would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who will always put a smile on your face, or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life, so when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? Those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type and they don't hate me for acting like a know it all. People say that about you? I'm not a know it all, Sakura. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings and I can't. All I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing my book with you that I really understood what I was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. 
I know I'm a difficult person, Sakura. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. We too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me like everyone else. It's so weird that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. I treat you how... Oh, well, I'll treat you how do you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. You want to show me a poem? Yeah. I do. Let me get it for you. Ghost Under the Light Part 2 The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses his path, a silhouette obstructs the fuck. Off, I didn't even see. Hold on. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella. Passing a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I am too late. The steps of into the street light I grasp and hold my and drop my umbrella. The lights flicker, my heart pounds. He raises his arms, time stops. The only indication of a moment is the amber light flickering again against his outstretched arm. The flickering is in the rhythm, with the pounding of my heart teasing me from or succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of the ghost feeling warm before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is so overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stops, goes out blue green. The heat, my heat is amber. Using the poem, I, hand it, I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of talking, taking it from me, she looks away. That. Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poem usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. But Yuri is, is having even a lot of time speaking than usual. Does this mean that one means a lot to Yuri or it's not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me, so thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge from on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hand and pushes them, pushes them back towards me. As a day in response to her contact, you can, um, this po the poem is, once again Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You can, you mean I can keep it? Yuri not. I love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but you. I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah, don't worry. I know you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something, and I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yui timidly smiles at me and I return to my street so I can put her poem away. 